Hi, I'm Andres. <laughs> I'm Andres. Uh, I'm the lead singer of Multipurpose Chemical. I'm Rob, and I play guitar. <laughs> My name's Mel, and I play drums in Multipurpose Chemical. I'm Jim, and I play bass. Chill your jets. <laughs> What does multi-purpose chemical mean to me? Multi-purpose chemical is a feeling. <laughs> Rob and I first met in Italy teaching uh, tiny Italian children guerrilla theatre. He said to him, don't go back to America, don't go back there, come with me, we'll start a band. I, I don't know how I got here, <laughs> you know, I just sort of showed up. Uh, the first gig we ever played as NPC was kind of a weird one. Uh, it was just Andreas and I. We came here without a plan, so when we got here, our only plan was to get drunk and to make music. I mean, we didn't really know how. We had lied to some, I'll call her some dumb skank, in a bar. We had lied to her that we were an official band. And in fact, we were just drunks. We had never played a gig. But we convinced her that we were in a band, and I guess that's the most important part. I was sound checking uh, with my other band at the time, and uh, I remember sort of playing the guitar and looking over to my left and seeing these two completely drunk strangers but they were just smiling at me and holding up boxes of wine going all the other bands are setting up they've got amps equipment drum kits and we turn up and we've got uh, an acoustic guitar two pairs of sticks an electric guitar hand chimes and a little toy green saxophone and a shit pa stroke amp thing um, we did some uh, freeform jazz with a green saxophone and hand chimes you know they were on stage for probably about 20 minutes but it was one of the funniest things i would ever seen ever and I, I was in hysterics from start to finish. I didn't know what I was watching, didn't understand how they'd got the gig, but it was brilliant and I was a fan from day one. Ross, our now ex-drummer, decided that he didn't want to be an NPC anymore. I first heard about NPC, it was a chance conversation that I was having with a guy that endorses the guys in the band with their, their Warwick and Framer stuff. I went and had a meeting with him, I had a cup of coffee with him, we had a chat. He was the complete polar opposite to Ross. And within the first night of playing, it just felt like this is a new step, this is a better step. I love the little pirate gypsy bastard. Ross, in, in a way, was a great player, uh, a bit weird. Um, now looking back, you know, I sort of, I'm glad he's gone. I almost wish he was dead. But it's, it's... Yeah! Um, I love I loved the live shows. If you want to have a good night out, you go to see one of our gigs, and your night's going to be 10 times better because it's going to be in your face, it's going to be fun, it's a party atmosphere every single gig. I can be, I can be quiet and sensitive if you want, but right now I'm going to be loud and hard. <laughs> That's true for the ladies as well. He's loud and he's hard. <laughs> <laughs> One word that I always think about is entertainment. Entertainment for me is we want to entertain people. That's the first and foremost. If you can't entertain somebody, they're not going to listen to you. To get the, the feedback and the, the love we get from an audience, I think it's something really special, the connection that we've got with our fans. It's not to be missed, you know. I think that if you come to an NPC show, you need to sort of prepare yourself to be entertained, to laugh, uh, and to go home feeling warm and fuzzy inside because I think that's what we do to people man. I hope that we see you there. You're gonna be there, right? Of course I'm gonna be there. Cool. How good's the album? <laughs> the album that, that's being released is basically what made me want to be in this band. Boring. <laughs> it's an absolute party album I'd like to say. If you want to have like a something to listen to before you go out, you know listen to that man because it'll really get you charged it'll really get you going sonically it's just everything i wanted it to be and that's thanks to the band being as tight as they were that's thanks to ace being such a good producer and that's thanks to to will the engineer who engineered the album 
it's full of great songs, um, songs that you're innocently going to have stuck in your head. It's difficult really to sort of talk about it without excreting some sort of semen-based product from my man penis. It's difficult, let me tell you that. Welcome to Welcome. Welcome to Welcome. 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 NPC TV is something that um, we started sort of as an experiment back in the day. One day we were just sort of thinking there's a lot of good stuff that could come out of taking a camera to the world of NPC. It started off as something really quite simple that we just wanted to put on the internet. NPC TV 2 came along with the uh, recording of the second half of the album and when we watched that we were just blown away because it just stepped up a gear. The, the look of it, the, the feel of it, like people can watch it and go, oh it's NPC TV, it's not like any other band diary or video about a band that I've seen. NPC TV is the coolest thing uh, that we got going for us uh, besides the music at the moment. It's really interesting, we get uh, emails and messages about it all the time. No I do think that we as a band are something quite unique in what already exists as the world of metal music. We're country, we're blues, we're pop, we're jazz, we're funk. Our message is sometimes of pain, sometimes of pleasure, a political message sometimes because that's stuff that's in everybody's life. We write about the things that we're feeling at the time and yeah, pigeonholing is a really strange thing. I understand why people do it, but for NPC, uh, which is part of the fact I enjoy NPC is I think people have quite a hard time doing it. Sometimes the songs can be quite aggressive, the music certainly can be aggressive, but there's a definite overlying sort of feeling of fun and just getting out there rocking out as hard as you can and having fun with it because that's what it is for us. Why should it be anything else for the people who, who pay money to come and see us or take the album home with them? I, I think it's important to go through life laughing at things and enjoying yourself along the way. I think it'd be really rubbish if you, if you did it any other way. You know, I do feel like nothing's beyond the realms of possibility with this band and that, you know, music-wise, I wouldn't even like to say, you know, exactly specifically what style of music we might be playing in five years' time. The polka! Um, maybe. I want to look at different territories to release the album in. I want to go out to those territories and follow it up with live work. We've um, played with Skindred, we've played with Ruben, we've played with the Mad Capsule Markets, you know. We played with Million Dead when they were together, you know. And it's all just off the back of getting drunk and having, you know, a really good time playing music. And that's amazing. Your last control, down is you. Your last control, down is you. I, I certainly like to think that within five years uh, we would have out toured the UK you know played every single toilet venue and, and above and uh, sort of broke into Europe and um, possibly over to the States we're hungry for it we're ready to get out there and do it we want to work at it just cover this country so that everybody knows who we are <laughs> we're about appreciating what we've got and putting our own stamp on something we really enjoy. Big sweating and smiling like I always say, you know, big sweating and smiling and pointing and jumping around, you know, it's, it's all of these things and it's a big ball of sweaty fun, man, and that's what MPC is for me. There is no God!